क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends in the previous topic we have discussed about that is why Fe cobalt and nickel they don't show expected highest oxidation state and now in this topic we are going to talk about the trends in the atomic size of the 3d series elements so what are those let me talk about that in this topic So friends suppose if we are discussing about the 3d series elements that is starting from the scandium and it ends with that is zinc So we understand that is across a particular period we find that is the atomic size goes on decreasing. So in that case we can expect that is the scandium is the one that will have a highest atomic size and talking about zinc it will have a that is lowest atomic size suppose if we are talking about that is 3D series. But it is not been observed that is the zinc is the most smallest element in the whole that is 3D series. The reason behind that is suppose here we are talking about a data that is Suppose if we are comparing that is scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper, and zinc. And suppose if we are talking about the atomic radii, that is in picometer. So it has been found that if the scandium is the one that has an atomic size of or atomic radii of 144 picometer, but talking about the zinc, it has been found to be 125 picometer. But if you observe over here, that is there is a decrease in size of the atomic size that is from 144 to 132, 122. 118 and here it is 170 but there should be even further decrease but it is not been observed so here basically manganese and iron they both have an atomic size of 117 so talk about cobalt it is 116 it is for nickel it is 115 for copper it is been increasing the size in increasing and it is basically 117 and for zinc it is found to be 125 so why there is a decrease here and why there is a bit unchanged atomic size almost unchanged atomic size and there is an increase in atomic size here this is what i want to talk about in this topic so talking about the few points we understand that is that is during the filling of the electrons and suppose if we are talking about the d block elements the last electron or the extra electron enters in the n minus 1d orbital that means the 4s orbital that is if i am talking about this 3d series so every element would have that is 4s that is orbital so 4s orbital is equipped with two electrons except suppose if i am comparing that is for chromium and copper obviously they will have one electron each in 4s orbital but talking about the other one so they will have that is 4s2 electrons and the last electron it enters in the n minus 1 that is 3d orbital so that's the reason that for scandium we can say that is one electron enters in the d orbital two electrons enters in the d orbital 3 4 5 6 7 Eight, nine, and ten in in that manner. So that's the reason that we could say that is there is one electron in the d orbital. There is two electrons. Three here it is five here it is also five, six, seven, eight, ten, and again ten. So all these extra electrons that are entering in the d orbital they play a very vital role in a concept which is known as shielding effect. and because of this shielding effect and obviously we understand that is whenever we are talking about the elements across a period obviously because of this increase in the atomic size obviously we can also observe the other property and that property is nothing but the nuclear charge or the tendency of a nucleus to attract the outermost electron so in this case basically since the extra electron is entering in the inner shell that is n minus 1 d shell or we could say that is 3d shell so that's the reason that this the screening effect and the other property that is nuclear charge they both are opposing each other and this kind of opposing nature is what we could observe from here that is from the middle area from the middle zone that is that is from manganese to the zinc and that's the reason that here you can see that is the atomic size is decreasing that is from 144 to 132 to 122 and this is 118 but after that the atomic size it's almost steady it's almost the same and here basically we can find that is the atomic size is increasing a bit because here basically we could say that is the screening effect is more compared to that of the nuclear charge and that's the reason the atomic size is 1 to 5 which is more compared to that of the copper which is 117 so based on that this was nothing but a topic related to the trends in the atomic size of the 3d series elements and that's it So thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have understood that is what is the trends in the atomic size of the 3d series elements and that's it I hope I'll see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to Ikita channel. Thank you so much.